Today we will talk about parameter. Today we will talk about our new lesson which is parameter. Can you hear me well guys? We have Abdurrahman, we have Saad, we have Yazan and Khalifa and Muhammad. <coughs> Today we will talk about parameter. Welcome Saad. Uh, can you hear me well? Yes, okay, thank you, Sad. Then we will wait for just only one minute, okay? I will wait for just only one minute. In case of, of if someone uh, come late, then I will wait for just only one minute. Welcome, Khalifa. We have Yazan. Thank you, Yazan. We have Abdurrahman and Khalifa and Saad and Yazan and Muhammad. Our lesson today, inshallah, will be related to parameter. And here we have the main idea of parameter, which is the distance around a shape. Uh, the parameter is what? Is, is the distance around a shape. Welcome, Abdul Aziz. We have now Abdul Aziz. Okay. I'm waiting for just only one minute. We have Majid Abrofian. Good morning, Majid. Okay, Khalifa, I'll tell you. Okay, Khalifa. Page 717, Khalifa. Page 717. Our lesson today is related in, in, in page 717. Okay, we will start our lesson today. Then the parameter is the parameter is the distance around any shape that you can use a grade like that to count the number of units around the outside of a rectangle to find its parameter. For example, here we have this rectangle. If we need to know the parameter, we will add the length of the distance around the, this shape, which is five feet plus three feet plus five feet plus three feet again again if we have any shape here which is like this one and we need to know the parameter here we have for example 12 centimeter and here for example three centimeter then we need to, to know the parameter okay we need to know the parameter then my question is find Find the parameter. Then how can I find this parameter, which is, I will write B related to parameter equal what? 12 plus 3 plus 12 plus 3 <coughs> equal. Then 12 plus 3, it will be 15. Good morning, Muhammad Bass. Good morning. Okay, uh, 12 plus 3 it will be 15, and 12 plus 3 it will be 15. 15 plus 15 it will be 30 centimeter. Then this is the parameter. Again, 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 more and more. The parameter is the distance around the shape. The distance around the shape. يعني ال distance around the shape اللي هو المسافة حول أي شكل. إذن Again, the, to find any parameter for any shape that, that we, you, you need to count to add the length of the distance around any shape. Welcome, sir. Good morning.
Then now again, again, we have Abdul Rahman and Saad and Yazan and Khalifa and Muhammad Bas, Abdul Aziz and Majid and Saud and Hamad. Good morning, Hamad. Okay. Today we are talking about pyrimeter and we all know that the pyrimeter uh, is a distance around a shape. We can find any pyrimeter to when you add the length of the, the sides, which is here, you add three or, or five plus three plus five plus three. To find out 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3 that equals 16 then the parameter here is 16 feet the parameter here is what is 16 feet okay that's completely yeah, easy right is it easy guys hmm. thank you Khalifa you are awesome okay now I'm looking Then now, 13.1, and we're going to be talking about perimeter. Tonight's essential question is how can you use a formula to find the perimeter of a rectangle? Go ahead and turn to page quick so that you can kind of understand tonight's lesson. Like I said, we're going to be talking about perimeter, and there are two ways to find the perimeter of a 2D shape. So you can do P equals, P stands for our perimeter, P equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Then we can solve it like P equal 2L plus 2W, which is 2 times length plus 2 times width, which is, we repeat it, which is we have 2 length and 2 width, like 2 times 7, 14, and 2 times 4, 8, then we will add them. All we can add them individually each one alone okay which is L plus L plus W plus W both the same if you're orange with a little W four meters is exactly that is also four meters you know eight meters plus two times four which is my width four meters so now I'm gonna go ahead and solve P equals 2 times 7, which I know is 14, plus 2 times 4, which I know is 8. And if I add 14 plus 8, I know that that equals 22. So my perimeter is 22 meters all the way around the butterfly garden. All right, this one is... Now we will solve this questions or these questions together, guys. Focus with me. Here the first one, 9 plus 3 plus 9 plus 3. Then the second one. Which one can help me in the second one? Which is we have square consists of 8 meters for each side. Then help me, guys, please. Okay, we have... Go ahead. Which one of you? Anyone? We need to know the parameter for this one, for this question, which is question two. Hurry up, guys. Okay, let's see, let's see. It's in your GoMath book. Go ahead and turn to page 247. And we're gonna look at problems one and three. That's right, we're only gonna do the odd problems tonight. So go ahead and put a nice big star on number one and number three. Those are going to be the ones we're completing today on the video. If you take a look at number one, it is already done for us, but let's see how they got their answer. Nine plus three plus nine plus three equals 24. Yes, thank you, Sad. Thank you. This is right. Thank you, Sad. It's completely right, which is we we will add eight how many times? Four times. Eight plus eight plus eight plus eight to find out the parameter for any square or, or this square. They followed a different a little bit of a different formula than we did in the beginning. 
Dave? Thank you, Khalifa. This is completely right, which is 32. 32 meter. Thank you. Followed the length plus width plus length plus width equals our perimeter around the rectangle. Again, you could still do 2 times the length plus 2 times the width, and you would still get the same answer. So let's go ahead and do that. 2 times the length. Now remember, our length is 9. Our width is 3. So 2 times 9 plus 2 times 3 equals our perimeter. 2 times 9 is 18 plus my 2 times 3, which is 6, equals our perimeter. So our P equals 24 inches around the rectangle. All right, let's head over to number 3, which you still have a star around as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'm going to go ahead and give you the length and the width, and I want you to complete it on your own. The length is 12, and my width is 10. Go ahead and plug it into this formula, and you can go ahead and find the perimeter, the distance around the object. Go ahead and do that for me. All right, boys and girls, you should have gotten 44 feet around the object, and that's how the perimeter, that's how much the perimeter is around the object. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and let's jump down to number five. Go ahead and also give number five a star so you know where we're going to be working. Now, remember, boys and girls, the length is always the longest. So our length in number five would be 83 inches, and our width would be 25 inches. So go ahead and plug those two numbers into your formula. Now, remember, your formula is 2L, so 2 times your length plus 2w, so 2 times your width, equals your perimeter. Go ahead and plug those in, boys and girls, and I want you to go ahead and try this math on your own. I know you can do a great job. Go ahead and push pause. Whenever you're ready, push play, and we'll work it out together. All right, boys and girls, let's go ahead and double check your work, and I'm going to walk you through it as well. Again, my length was 83 inches. My width was 25 inches. And if you take a look at your reference sheet, you know that in order to get the perimeter, again, the length around, you have to multiply 2 times the length plus 2 times the width equals the perimeter. So when I multiplied 2 times 83, I got 166 inches. When I, got, when I did 2 times 25 inches, I got 50 inches. So then my formula tells me to go ahead and add. So when I add 166 inches and 50 inches, my final answer is 216 inches. How'd you do? I know you did amazing. Let's move on. And now we're on to number seven for tonight. Go ahead and put a circle around number seven. We're going to be working it out together tonight. It's a story problem and it says, Troy is making a flag shaped like a square. Each side measures 12 inches. He wants to add ribbon along the edges. He has 36 inches of ribbon. Does he have enough ribbon? That is the question it's asking us tonight. Does he have enough ribbon? Let's go ahead and find out. Now to begin calculating our measurements, I went ahead and I drew a square. The story says that each side is equal, and we know that because it's a square, and each side is 12 inches long. So I'm going to go ahead and label my square right now, including the unit of measure. Now there are a few different ways to determine the perimeter around the square. We can add 12 four times, so we can model it and we could do 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 would give us our perimeter. We could do our formula, which is 2L plus 2W equals our perimeter. So 2 times the length, so 2 times 12, plus 2 times the length, which is 12, and it would give us our perimeter. Or 
we could just do 12 times 4, and of course these are all in inches, 12 inches equals our perimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to decide to do it the way we've been doing it all lesson long. I'm going to go with our formula, 2L plus 2 uh, width equals our perimeter. So when I multiply 2 times 12, I get 24 inches plus 24 inches equals our perimeter. And I know that 24 plus 24 is 48 inches. So now we know the perimeter of this particular square is 48 inches. Let's return to the story problem to see what it's asking us. He has 36 inches of ribbon. Does he have enough ribbon to go around the entire perimeter of his square? Well, let's go ahead and compare the two numbers. I have 48 inches. That's the perimeter around our square. Welcome, brother. Continuing the lesson, okay? Which is we, we're talking now about perimeter. Then kindly focus. And I'm going to compare it to the 36 inches of ribbon he has. Let me ask you this, boys and girls. Does he have enough ribbon? If he has 36 inches and it's 48 inches to go all the way around. Correct. He does not have enough. And we know that because we know that 48 is greater than 36. He doesn't have enough ribbon because he only has 36 inches and we would need 48 inches to go all the way around the perimeter of his square. Now, it's all now we will go on to solve an important first of all we will revise to find the parameter here we have 16 and 4 yards 16 plus 4 20 20 by 2 it will be 40 yards the second one or the next one 42 meters and 110 meters okay we can add them together sad which is 304 because 42 plus 110 152 we will make it by 2 it will be 304 the parameters better is the distance or the parameter is the distance around any shape or the shape okay uh, here we have 4 meter and 4 meter then 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 it will be 16 or 4 times 4 it will be 60 because we have 4 equal sides in the square now we will solve this this questions question 2 anyone help me in question 2 any one of you tell me about the parameter Okay, go ahead, Saud and Majid, in question two. Hurry up. Saud and Majid, in question two. Solve question two. Ask better. Ask any questions. Hurry up, Saud and Majid. Solve question two. Fourteen. Okay, better. The next one, question three. Tell me the answer for question three. Fourteen. Fourteen is not a right answer, sir. And question and question two. Fourteen is not the right answer. Better no wrong. Better your answer is completely wrong. Hamad, go ahead. Majid 16. Yeah, this is completely right. Thank you, Majid. Uh, thank you, Majid. Yes, sir. 16 meters in question two. Yeah. Majid and sir. Thank you. Badr, what about question three? Yes, honey, your answer is completely wrong. 
Huh? Which one can solve question three, guys? Better no, no, not right. Yeah, Saud, completely right, which is 12, yes. Magic wrong, not 9. Yes, and right, it, which is 12. Question 3 will be 12. Let me write them down. Here we have 8, eight by 2, it will be 16 meters. And here we have, we have 3 times 4, it will be 12 centimeters. Question 4. Solve question 4, guys. Uh, ask Khalifa. Go ahead, Khalifa. 24 14 plus 8 is 14 plus 8 24 yes 22 thank you khalifa thank you khalifa this is completely right khalifa 22 thank you abdul aziz 22 completely right question 4 will be 22 any questions guys about our lesson today thank you khalifa and abdul aziz thank you and majid thank you majid Guys, any questions about our lesson today? Ask me any questions. Is it clear to all of you? Yes. I'm waiting for questions. If you have any questions, just stay. If you, you're welcome anytime, so I, I, I missed you. I missed all of you guys. Yes, al muhit wal parameter ya Saad, barakallah fiik. Can you explain for for me? Okay, for sure, brother. I'm here for you. I'm here for you, brother. Hamad, ask me your questions. Welcome, welcome, Rakan. Welcome, Rakan. Shabab, اللي مش فاهم هو المحيط. يعني المحيط. يعني اللي مش فاهم خلي. هنا عندي, for example, twelve centi or or خليها eight centimeter. اللي مش فاهم بس يخليه ولكم يا زلمة وهنا 4 سنتيمتر مثلا الفكرة الفكرة يا بدر انه البارامتر يا ماجد بس يا ماجد اه وي فينش وي فينش يا سعود اف يو اف يو نيد تو ليف ليف ام اكسبلينينج اوكي يا عبد العزيز ام اكسبلينينج اوكي ام اكسبلينينج البارامتر يا شباب اللي هو المحيط حلو هذا اسمه البارامتر حلو كيف اعرف البارامتر اني اسوي ادينج لللينث الخاصه بالشكل يعني هنا 8 سنتيمتر وهنا 4 بالتالي انا عارف انه هذا برضه اللينث 8 سنتيمتر وهذا الوت كمان يا بدر 4 سنتيمتر يا بدر انت جاي متاخر بالمناسبه يا بدر فما لا تاخر مره ثانيه اذا اسوي ادينج لهم اجمع البيانات هذه كلها اجمع 8 بلس 4 بلس 8 بلس 4 ليه؟ لأنه أنا عارف أنا عارف الآن إنه البارامتر هو هو طول طول الشكل الخارجي نفسه أو المسافة حول أي شكل حلو؟ اللي هو 8 بلس 4 جود باي جود باي سعد بلس 8 بلس 4 اذا البارامتر هسوي ادينج لهم 8 بلس 4 بلس 8 بلس 4 بس هذا هي 8 بلس 4 12 12 بلس 8 20 20 بلس 4 24 اذا الانسر عندي 24 شو رايك تحل واحده يا بدر 24 سنتيمتر عندي هنا الان شو رايك تحل واحده شو رايك تحل سؤال يا بدر جود باي ايوه بارك الله فيك انا ما انا موجود عشان اعرف تحل يلا يا حبيبي يلا يا غالي اذا كان عندي هنا 5 سنتيمتر يا بدر هذا السؤال بس لبدر وهنا عندي 5 سنتيمتر برضه الله يعافيك يا بدر يلا يا ابوي حل 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 لي يا يا غالي فايند ذا بارامتر لا يا بدر لا يا حبيبي لا يا ابوي مش تن انت الان سويت اد لمين؟ لهذه وهذه، لا انا ابى اد لكل الاطوال، لازم نسوي الان هنا لازم نسوي ادنج لهم كلهم، هنا الفايف ايوه بطل الله عليك، هذه 5 سنتيمتر بلس 5 سنتيمتر، يا سلام عليك يا بدر، بلس 5 سنتيمتر 
بلس 5 سنتيمتر اذا كلهم 20 عشان هذول اصلا 10 وهذول كمان 10 حلو اذا كلهم 20 بارك الله فيك يا بدر اي سؤال يا بدر انت او غيرك هم اف يو هاف اني كويستشنز جايز وي هاف عبد العزيز الماجد محمد بدر محمد راكان عبد الرحمن انيازن اني كويستشنز اوكي يو ار ويلكم اللي عنده سؤال يسال يلا يا ابطال الله واياك يا بدر الله يدخلك الجنه ان شاء الله ويسعدكم جميعا يا غاليين يا يا طيبين يلا اللي عنده سؤال يا ابطال يلا يا شباب الله يسلمك في امان الله في رعايه الرحمن اه جاينا حمد اسال يا حمد هات اللي عندك شباب اللي يخلص وفاهم الموضوع يتوكل على الله يلا Uh, Muhammad, Hamad, and Rakan, and Abdurrahman. You have any questions? Do you have any questions, guys? Okay. This is the end of my session now. Thanks for attending this class.